It isn't a question that I'm wondering about, it's a feeling that I have. Imagine, uh, if you had a, an interview with God, everybody was going to have an interview with God, and you were allowed to ask one question. What would you ask? Oops. I know I'm supposed to have the screen up for like longer than a minute, but I'm already impatient and I want to start playing the game. <laughs> so, oh boy. It might be a little quiet. Here, let me. That should be better. It literally won't let me like all edit it in my sound though while I. <laughs> It won't let me edit my sound while I'm, like, in the screen, so it disappears every single time. <laughs> oh, I have level points to level. I didn't load. I probably should actually do that, because I think it's... Last played at midnight. I'm gonna press load even though it already loaded in. Um, last time we were here, uh, we finished up one main quest. I picked up two uh, character quests that we get to do. And there's a lot of things here actually, that this is all, those are all side missions. Uh, right now we only have pharaohs left for main missions, and then there should be, I believe, two real major main missions after that. But we'll probably finish timing, up the game Commander. next stream. We got a stream. transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Damn, another side quest? I'll take it in Guys. the comm room. They're just gonna keep feeding me side quests until I can't eat anymore. Commander Shepard. We've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for... We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. Vermeer? I can't wait. That's a main mission. So now we have access to that already? Wow. I didn't realize you could do that before you do Pharos. I don't know if it's because I completed Novaria or just because I completed two out of the three. Pretty sure I already scanned all these. We were trying to afford, afford armor so we could take Rex with us. Um, but we might still not be, have enough. So we might want to run maybe the Dr. Salion quest and maybe get- or just do the fucking family armor quest and then equip that to him. So that's probably what the plan is going to be. We'll probably look into family armor quest. Because then we'll at least be able to take him somewhere. Of course, he's gonna be on Vermeer regardless, so there's that. Oh, that's all that's in there? Okay. 
good, yeah. So there's Pharos and Vermeer Citadel. Let me zoom out again. I need to actually look at what's in the journal. Race against time. Vermeer. Okay, let's do family armor. The Argos Row Cluster. Oh, right here. There's two areas. Phoenix. To Tong Pao. Okay, that might be where we need to go. Let's go ahead and make sure none of these need to be surveyed. Ooh, survey. Cobalt. Alright, let's go to Tong Tao and see if we can find uh, Rex's family armor here. I would love to actually be taking Rex on missions. I wish I could afford armor for him. So let's take uh, Caden and Garrus. Woo! Woo! Let's see, there are hidden structure, an anomaly, and debris. So first, let's head to our right. Let's see what's up. Woo! Oh. Off to a strong start, everybody. Let's get your uh, favorite weapons out. Well, I don't know what I've been having him use, but... Let's go ahead and uh, do a save. Because fuck it, might as well. back up girl So I shot at Garrus. It's not racist. I'm ready. Garrus, get up. This motherfucker! 
Skills left? Nope. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Uh, throw him. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's upstairs. Okay, okay. So... Go, go, go! Keep glancing over here, buddy. Come on. <laughs> oh, well, there's my grenade that never went off. That's fine. Come on. Oh. oh, stasis. in stasis. grenades at them. That's kind of funny. Come here. Go, go, go! Oh, well, they got him. <laughs> Guys, can you, uh, hit him with the... Go, go, go! Look out! Look out for me! Oh my god, there's so much damage to me. That was risky. Alright, there's the last guy is down here somewhere. Which is pretty funny, because you can't really like get behind cover. That's fine. I wonder if I just walk through here, it's not gonna really matter. it. 
said it's obviously not usable, but like how obviously not usable? Because the level one armor I think is worse. Come here, idiot. Where'd he go? There we go. Alright, we got it. We got the armor. Clear. Cool. Next we can uh that took like what, five minutes? God. We can uh I guess we can do the Dr. Solarian... Dr. Salion mission. That was too easy. Okay, so... North... Which is that way, kinda. And then there's some debris at the far end of the car. Woo! Uh oh. Okay, 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 we got it. That is a weird object. That's a weird few objects, actually. That's, a, that's, a, that's more than one of them. All right. Seems to be all that's concerned with that. I don't like this big open area. Let's just make me nervous. I'm assuming that's the one. Okay, cool. This may give us enough money to buy armor. Oh, wait. It's over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just kidding. It's right here. Mineral survey. Alright, now I believe we just press Y. Nope. That's repairing the car. Return to Normandy. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. All right, so, uh, oh, I forgot to upgrade squad while we were out. That's fine. 
but uh, we should be able to just give the armor to Rex now. Let's go, uh, go do that. <coughs> oh, this is the wrong way. <coughs> I'm, I'm a menace. I'm gonna get used to this Mass Effect One ship layout, and then when the Normandy spoilers, uh changes layout on the inside for no reason at all um I'm gonna be used to this layout and then I'm not gonna know where I'm going on the other Normandy come on Rex Shepard Rex, I think I found your armor. Let me see. Yeah. This is it. Hard to believe my ancestors wore this piece of crap. But at least it's back where it belongs. Thanks, Shepard. I might be starting to like you after all. You getting soft on me, Rex. Huh. Just because I like you doesn't mean I wouldn't kill you. We love Rex. All right, and uh, I guess we'll survey the system, and then we'll see where Doctor Salion is hiding out. Man, these side quests—they go so quick. I remember my first playthrough. I did every mission I could get my hands on. I surveyed every single planet, front to back, beginning to end. I played essentially five days straight. It was like during the summer. I was young. Five days straight. And you're able to clear the whole game. And that's- it's the special edition too, so like this game didn't have a whole lot of DLC in it either. But we're not gonna do all the bells and whistles. We're just gonna have fun and bum rush. So we got that system. Let's go ahead and investigate Hydra. I don't think there's anything we need to land at when it comes to Hydra. We're just gonna survey planets. Okay, we got the insignia. Message coming in. Patching it through. Uh oh. The general distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Critical system failure. Losing power. An emergency landing. Argo communications failing. Life support. Okay, so they need something there as Medicos. But I want to do all the missions. Survey. Concentration of helium. And this one doesn't have anything. Okay, so we're gonna press the zoom out. We're already in Hydra, so this will just take us back to the ship. And I'm gonna check where the Herschel system is in Kepler Verge. Let's see what this medical uh, back one is about though. You know, I'm, I'm down to do another side mission. It's not gonna take us very long and we'll get some we'll get some stuff for it. Maybe we'll actually be able to afford armor. We've only been at this for like 20 minutes. We already got Rex's armor. So we're gonna select the squad. And then I'm gonna do skill points and then save it. That's the plan. Oh, I forgot it does a scene sometimes. Did you see that last time? I don't think it did. I'm a little scared. All right, so squad. I don't want intimidate. Um, health and immunity as an ability. So it's advanced immunity. This is advanced darkness. This is weapon damage. I probably need a little bit of that too. And then first aid. Alright, on the boys. Assault rifles could get him to advanced overkill. Assault training, tactical armor. Ooh, can use medium armor. Thank god. Electronics shuts down enemy shields. Yeah, I like that. Hold on a second. Can I actually put... better armor? Well, I guess... 
the light armor I have is already way better somehow. Damn. I guess he just gotta live like that. Let's save, since we're on a new planet. And let's check the map. Alright, we got two question marks on either side. That's a transponder signal. And then there's debris is directly behind us. So let's do that first. And then we'll circle around and get the uh, important thing last. No. We should do that first, but you know. Ooh, I see the mic. am I? Not at all. God, this planet terrain is senseless. Help. No, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Onward, soldier. back to being right side up. What would have been really funny and extremely frustrating is if they would have just killed you every time that you flip the Mako. they just fucking kill you. It would make this game so much funnier. Oh, damn. This one's not fun. Damn, I'm already done. Alright, whatever. <laughs> I'm pointed directly at the thing, so we'll go that way. God, oh my god. It's like getting trapped on a waterbed as a child. Maw in this area, I swear to God. There's the downship. This must be the place. Careful. Careful. It's a trap. <laughs> it exploded! Eat shit! Oh, he flew! <gasps> He's so fucking dead! Where's the rest of them? Where are they? <laughs>
these ones. Oh. oh, it's the sound of the bullet flying past. Lots of money. And then there's an anomaly north of here. And then we can go ship side. So. Yeah, that's the thing. All I need to do is some planet surveying. I might be able to afford armor. myself done damn turned around. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm flipping. I'm flopping. I'm sliding. I'm slopping. I love how the boosters only make it worse. Barrel roll. What does it look like? Oh, fuck. This will fetch. You would? Oh, okay. Insignia. Return to Normandy.
babe, I'm not gonna eat all these. Okay. Purple. Hey, buddy. Mark doesn't come sharing. More silly baby. I'm gonna get me a sodi too. Let me, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, I guess, survey out the system. Did I already survey all the planets? B button just stopped working. I'm gonna save because that's an omen. It's back to normal, okay. Now it's not back to normal. What the fuck? Tiki! No cats on the desk right now. There is food up here. Maybe I'm just pressing the B button too fast and it's getting mad at me. But I'm pretty sure I surveyed all the planets already. Yeah, it's just getting mad at me. Hydra is okay. So we need to go to The Kepler Bridge. That's where we're going. Okay. Newton, Herschel. Okay, there's only two. We're going to Herschel. side of it. Let's go ahead and see if we can survey Klugon. I think it's- I think this is where we're gonna be- where we're gonna be, uh, doing stuff, but I think it might start as soon as I click on the ship, so we're going to save before we go to the ship instead of save once we get there.
just a warning. If you're an evil scientist, you might not like this part. I mean, your family. Well, you know, sandwich places be giving you bread this hard as fuck. Sandwich is falling apart. Oh no, my mouth is full. Ah. What the fuck are you saying? English for here comes the airplane. Tanglish? Oh. Marco, down. Don't give me those big baby eyes. He's like, oh, I'm such a sad, I'm such a sad boy. You never give me your entire sandwich. What kind of mother are you? Set that aside for a second. Is there no way to go? Oh, okay. Excuse me, sorry. I'm stuck. Oh my god. Oh god. Y'all, this is not the W we thought it was. Everybody on a shotgun. Marco. I mean it. Oh, where's he going? She was 
expensive. There's that way. I don't think I have a. Ooh, there is actually a map here. Both of the rooms are ahead, so. That one's sealed off. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Salion. That's him, that's the guy. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me then out of here. Then why do the subtitles say that you're Salian? Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. Finish him. <laughs> Put him out of his misery so we can get going. Gladly. Your days of butchering are over, Doctor. No! Please! Please! Oh, come on. I thought he was going to shoot him in a cutscene. Come on. That was... satisfying. Good, Good, though. Remember that feeling. That's how it should be. I will, Commander. You can... Well, I guess we're done here. <laughs> the medical equipment is stained with the blood of many species. Head back to the Normandy. Alright. No, oh, damn. Phoenix. What, where? Ooh. Malfunctioning object. Average decryption locker. Got it. Hard decryption locker. Oh boy. Oh, shit. No, oh, damn. Got it. Can we level up again? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's another one down. What's in here? <laughs> Oh. Ship room. Ship room for being on the ship. Is that fucking exit? Ta da! Do we need to talk to him afterwards, or is that- is the mission over? I still don't think I have enough to get uh, armor for Rex. Damn. Let's survey the other system that's here before we go anywhere. Message coming in. Patching it through. How many? I received some troubling information, Commander. We need your help. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. Former scientists? Sounds like someone has a project they'd like to keep secret. All four scientists worked on a classified project on the coups. There was a brutal massacre there years ago. An entire unit was killed by Thresher Maws. 
It was classified as a natural hazard, but the project dates coincide with the attacks. Great, I would love that to can't fight Thresher Maws. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth lead out. Get off this desk. We are not going to talk about it. No, sir. I'm going to bop you again. You don't get off this desk. Marco, go. Go. Walk the plank, Marco. Go. I just want to eat a sandwich in peace. Nice planet, what the hell? <clears throat> Everything's in the other one direction though. <laughs> Let's save. Uh, we haven't done that in a little bit. I'm so impatient. It's right over here. Dealing with these fucking bugs. There's a dead Turian, so I guess we're recovering one. Cool. Marco. I mean it. I mean it. I mean it. Get, get down. Thank you. I don't even know which way I'm pointing. Oh, the correct way. Cool.
was close. I'm assuming all these enemies up here is the other thing on this planet. Wow. Yo. How far away am I getting sniped from? Where'd they go? Spooky, actually. This is such a bad idea, I should not go in here. <sighs> soup time. Time for soup. <coughs> You know, where they usually skimp me on the soup, they've actually filled it. Mm. Pretty generously. Take the bread. Put it in the soup. Put it in the soup. Hmm. Let the bread sit in the soup. Door control. <laughs> That's not good. Hey. Don't try coming up here. Get down. Illegal move. Soup not for Marco. Malfunctioning object, that's pretty shit. everywhere boys so uh, get ready for that now 
Never have I ever Powering seen up. that. All of them. I think we're good, Commander. Thank you, Elenko. I just said that. <laughs> Medical kit. Secure storage locker. Oh, shit. Marco. No, sir. No. Bad. That's my soup. If you were a baby, we'd be putting him in a chair. He'd go in the timeout chair. I don't remember why I'm on this planet, right? What mission did we come here for? Oh, right, Cerberus. Stay back! I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Please! He's a madman! Mr. Toombs, you're insane! You need help! It's Corporal! Corporal Toombs! You don't get to lie! Not today! Today it all comes out! What are you talking about? Why do you want to kill this man? Want? What I want is my life back. Oh, they're the ones I, who caused the explosion. I want to so go to sleep going... without screaming in my dreams. I want the people who sent me to Akuz brought to justice. 
Ooh. Can't you see the tombs is crazy? Shoot him! But if I can't get that, I'll have to settle for killing the men who took my life away. What did the doctor do to you, Corporal? We were on a coos. When the Thresher Maws hit, my entire unit was wiped out. The Thresher Maws. The scientists were studying them. They let them hit our unit just to watch. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. What kind of tests are we talking about? What do they do to you, you Corporal? Tombs. He doesn't have any proof! I demand a fair trial! Ever had Thresher Ma acid in your veins? I have. They wanted to see what it would do. They're part of some organization, Cerberus, that runs Cerberus. secret tests like this. They treated me like a lab animal. This is justice. This man deserves to die. So, are you going to kill me or not? I can arrest him. He'll answer for his crimes in court. Weren't you listening? He was part of a secret organization. I don't know what Cerberus is, but they'll never let their operation become public. This is the only way. Yeah, they will. <laughs> are you helping me, or are you killing me? If what you're saying is true, then pull that trigger. I won't stop you. Mr. Tubes, please! We had no choice! They had to die. You get it, right? I had no choice. But it's okay now. Now the scientists are just like my unit. No Damn. survivors. <laughs> what? I didn't press a button to kill him, but that's fine. One enemy respawn. Let's turn on immunity. Look out! Oh, they also use immunity. Stop using that. Balance your fire. Alright. He died of late? <laughs> Terminal. Just lead the way. Yes, Karis, that's what I'm doing. All right. Another barely any money. Back to the Normandy. <laughs> ah. Damn. That's a lot of side missions to burn through. That was at least message coming in. Another? Patching it through. Or is this about? I reviewed your report oh, okay. on the situation, it's Commander. It's unfortunate both the doctor and Tombs died. But I know you did your best under the circumstances. Thank you again for your assistance, Commander. Fit fleet out. Oh, maybe he shot himself. It was shown at like a weird angle, but... I couldn't tell. That was so odd. Hold on, let's... How much money do we have? Still barely in enough. I'm pretty sure it's like way more expensive to get that armor. So we only have one strange transmission left. Hawking at a cluster, the bio commune. 
Strenuous system in the horse head and nebula. Those are passive missions. Earth's moon. Artemis Tau. Wasn't I just there? No, and then these are passive missions. Also, take over a criminal cartel. Okay. Talking Etta or Artemis Tau is essentially an Earth. Those are the, the missions we have. They don't really take a long time. Let's go here because I remember us clearing out most of it already. So I don't know where it could be that we have to go, but we'll just check this system again real quick. Well, maybe that's the planet I'm looking for. Yeah, none of these have been surveyed. So I guess we're going here. This seems like the, the place for this side mission to be at. Alright, we got stronghold, debris, some other shit. So, let's go around this way. The debris should be just over this mountain. I think everything else is you know, just kind of a cluster. Let's try to hit the anomaly first and then go for it. Oh, Taka. I was sitting here thinking that I'd have to do like three more story missions to get to that sex scene, but I realized I only have to do one more story mission to get there. So I'm glad I set up the, uh, the safer work screen just in case. that here for? Sorry, capsule. There should be a material there as well.
I see some enemies up ahead. Oh, there's a lot. It doesn't look like there's any turrets, though. Another oh, pirate. Showing two enemies. Um, oh, I knocked it. <laughs> he ran down. Hello. Got him. Damn, we're, we're doing good today. I've been saving, but we haven't had a random everybody dies all at once moment, you know? That's kind of big. Big if true. Looks good. that pirates are in front of us. What the? Yeah, right? Okay. Oh, this guy. Shepard is stuck. Oh, oh, we're back to normal. Okay. Where's the, where's the last enemy? Are they upstairs? I 
don't see them. They must be stuck in something. It's fine. But we'll come we'll come back out. There's like nothing up here, okay. Oh no. Fuck. Those uh discover the evidence of the Asari leading these slavers and Asana Dante is an important ambassador. Our sisters, you should return to the city and confront Narsania. Why would I confront her myself? Uh oh. Fuck. Got it. Did you guys still not kill that one guy? Alright, we're going downstairs. Hello? So, I still don't know if we have enough to go get- if we have enough to go get that armor, then maybe I'll go to the Citadel and turn in that quest or whatever, but... Oh, I think we do have enough, actually. Let's go get that, though. Let's get armor! I guess after that we'll sort all our stuff and we can go to Novaria. Not Novaria. <laughs> and not Vermeyer either. We're we're gonna be Does he have anything to say? Commander! Something you need? I have to okay. go. Alright, see ya. I didn't think he'd have anything to comment on the uh Alright, short party. Actually we're gonna take or not Rex for his armor fitting. <laughs> Equalizing interior pressure with X. Interior hmm. atmosphere. Logged. Oh, I didn't update. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Reporter Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard, the first human specter. Commander Shepard answered difficult questions, demonstrating that under that military uniform is a keen diplomatic mind. We'll have exclusive footage later today. All right, so I don't know where the fuck this wants me to go. Embassy lounge and presidium level. Okay. Um, do I need to? No, I need to go to alien armors. Um, 
Pisces? It said the Presidium. Embassy Lounge. Okay. Nasana Dauntius. Speaking for a Nasana Dauntius. I don't think the receptionist receptionist is actually gonna give me directions, so we're just gonna we're gonna go with it. Novaria report raised a few eyebrows in the council, Shepard. I can't believe you let that queen live. There's a reason their species was nearly wiped out. We should have finished them off. This queen isn't like the others. She's not interested in conquest or war. Really? I'm glad you're an expert in a species we know virtually nothing about. I hope <laughs> we're both still around in 50 years to see if you're right. Genocide of an entire species is a terrible tragedy, Ambassador. Shepard did the right thing. Fine. I'll just tell everyone we figured it was a good idea to release a fertile Rachni queen in the wilds of Novaria. I'm sure nobody will have a problem with that. Does he leave after every update about each major mission? That's kind of funny. He just like walks off. Dude's just there to give attitude and then immediately leave as soon as anybody talks to him. Quest on my radar. I don't like that. Diplomats. There's a keeper. But I don't see. Codex. Codex. I don't see. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. I don't see an sorry diplomat. She's, oh, this is the lounge. Yeah, this is gonna be it then. Nasana. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I'm glad you're here. I must talk to you about my sister Dahlia. She's been kidnapped by slavers. Dahlia's dead, Nasana. And I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate <laughs> you into hunting her down damn, for me. Okay. But I guess that won't be necessary now, will it? You wanted your sister dead? If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. Could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits. But I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. I don't think I need that because I don't think we're going to be using our Asari, like, at all. But the only thing we're using money for is to get Rex armor, so. Wait. Yeah, I can check if it'll let me put him in the armor. Nope, okay. Man, I wish it would have just given us some free fucking armor, because you know how expensive this is just to, like, have him up to level? It's silly. It's absolutely silly. He's a good unit, but holy shit, please don't crash. Alright, wards. We could even go to Vermeer. <laughs> We're going to Pharos. <laughs> I can 
Commander, I've been waiting for you to get back. I've got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. I got a lot going on right now, but I can spare a moment. Great! This will just take a minute. With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if you signed me on as another specter? Conrad, I don't think that's a good idea. But I'd make a great specter. I'd be right there with you, showing the Council what humanity is capable of. I want to be with you, fighting the good fight like you did on Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. I believe you, Conrad. But there's another fight that needs you. What? I, I don't understand. You know what keeps me going out here? Knowing that people back home are keeping humanity strong. You... You're right. I just got so caught up in all of it. I wanted to help. Sign up for the regular I'll go early, home. Dude. Thanks for setting me straight. And we hope we never see you again. And I hope that clears the journal entry. I don't want to see him again. Conrad Werner. I love having a can walk. <laughs> like toddlers when they walk. <laughs> All right, dude. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very Not good things either. I have. All right, medium Turian. Heavy Krogan armor. Oh, I can't afford heavy armor, really. What? Oh, there's two. Scorpion and the Phoenix. How do these both go up in price? What the fuck? I need the 240. Man, it's such a jump in quality. Why is the Firestorm 4 worth so much money? I don't understand. Oh, it's a 6. That's why. Okay. But I would be able to... No, that wouldn't be enough to afford the armor. Unless I'm reading the numbers wrong. Hold on. I can definitely afford this. I don't know what I was worried about. I'm so dumb. I had way more than enough money. <laughs> Light Turian armor. Go ahead and pick up Corian armor, you know? Medium Turian armor, 24 to 190. He still just has, like, the best Turian armor that I found. Hello there! Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. Do you want many good supplies? Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Okay, standard Very items. Ooh. Grenade upgrade. I really thought that that armor was way more expensive than it was, and I feel so silly. That's fine, though. <coughs> All this just to buy ugly camouflage armor for our fucking turtle.
Solaris amp. Let's see if I can put a better one. Good one, the Solaris 5. Okay, sniper. Let's go ahead and get him a whole kit. So the Reaper. Let's do him on the equalizer. Add some mods. 50% toxic damage. Higher weapon stability. Pistol, he has the Kessler 3. We can give him the Kessler 5 minimum. Add some modifications. Shield bypass. Absorption. Damage. Shotgun. He has, he has mods, but... Keep that one. Okay, and then as far as... This... Let's put him on the Avenger 5. Ooh, Tsunami and Raptor. Let's put him on the Avenger for a second, and then I'm gonna check my weapons, because I haven't in a while. Scimitar. Firestorm. That's nice, actually. Let's put him on Firestorm. Alright, so... Let's look at... Ooh. I actually have some better heavy armor. Cool. Sniper, 108 and 3547. So I could put the Reaper on me. Put the Equalizer on Garrus. The Naginata. Okay, pistols, the stiletto. Six. Firestorm. Scimitar. Ooh. I'm taking Firestorm. He can have the scimitar. Oh, wait. He already has the scimitar. Oh, I just took his upgrades off. Damn. Shield bypass, weapon stability. Sure. <laughs> 207, and then assault rifle. I'll take this one. Freezing weapon detection. Okay. Grenade launcher. Sure. We want him on the one that's 240, because he's gonna be wait, no. Ooh, 228. Are you take the 228? The 211 shotgun as well. And then for pistol. Oh damn. We have plenty of stilettos. This is scimitar. Upgrade to the next scimitar. 228, 240. So now I just need to mod pistols. Organics damage and weapon stability. All right, that's a loadout. 
I didn't realize we were just using guns that were complete dog shit, but you know what? Now we have the ability to not do that. Wait, there was a mission in CSEC. So let's let's go there. It looked like there was a mission there. And then we're gonna firebomb Pharos. <laughs> I could have sworn when we loaded in, it showed something either around here or around the embassies for us to go pick up. Let's go look at um what requisition officer has though, because that could be fun. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. Rare stocks, okay. Oh. Spectre Master Gear. This is really fucking expensive. Okay. Shotgun, Armageddon 7. We could probably afford to get one of these, so we were gonna get a ri holy shit. We can't even afford that one. <laughs> Scimitar 3, Tornado. Well, okay, well, what we can do. We'll take anything that we have the lower levels of. Because we're probably not going to equip anybody else besides maybe Caden. But... So we don't really need a lot of these extras. We might be able to afford one of those really nice weapons and that would be a lot of fun. So let's see, Avenger. And she, four, three, two. Lancer, Lancer, Lancer. Tsunami, Avenger, Avenger, Avenger. Equalizer, Hammer, Naginata, Gemini Amp. Okay, these are all other shit too, like armor upgrades and all that shit. Okay, let's see. I wish they would put this in like a better to, uh, better to handle list. There's so much. Woo. All right, so let's let's get a like really high level weapon. Let's see what we got here. So those are armors. Those are armors. Omni tool. Biotic amp. It's a shitty Omni tool. The Reaper 3. Yeah, no. Sniper rifle that does 237 <laughs> fucking damage. Oh, okay. Sniper rifle that does 190. That's still really nice. We might want to grab that. Assault Rifle, the Thunder. Assault Rifle, Avenger, Tornado, Scimitar, Shotgun. Okay, so we want to get the Shotgun. That's 320, because that's fucking insane. So we have 4,900 left. Can we afford the Equalizer? It's 7,600. So we can we could probably sell a few things to get that.
Oh, I didn't put on a better sniper. That's fine. God. I could sell a lot of these shotguns considering the one I just bought. So, okay. So to get a pretty good... This is gonna be juicy in just a second here. Hold on. Shotgun. Equip that shit. Yeah, here we go. And then I'm gonna give the better sniper to Garrus. And then I'm gonna actually equip one that isn't dog shit. Oh, I know why I didn't equip that. I know why. It's because I wanted a better heat sink, but we'll try this one. And if it's if it's not bad, then. It won't be a big deal. Man, though, the loadouts are about to be insane. Insane. Let's get back on the ship and let's go fuck up Pharos. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics Trans commandeered humans. a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No they only study transhumans? <laughs> this was not the elevator I thought it was, and now I have to get I'm back I'm surprised in. that you're willing to kill your own, Rex. Aren't the Krogan just a few generations away from extinction? You don't get it. For all your talk of honor and pride, the Turians never had to test their principles in a real struggle. <laughs> Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Alright, let's go in the correct elevator this time. Thrilling game in remembrance play. of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. <laughs> Damn, the military advertisements, really. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Loading screen number five. Let's go. Loading Decontamination screen in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Let's get going. All right, we're taking uh, Garrus and Rex to Pharos. Let's check the other star system, though. There shouldn't be anything here since it's a main mission. Cluster, excuse me. It should be empty, but we'll just survey. Message coming in. Patching it through. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence in the Attican Beta Cluster. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities. You need to go ground side. Damn. Another side mission. Alright, there's a survey. 
that's the side mission it wants me to do, which is fine. We can cover. It's not going to be a big deal. Survey. Sure. You know what? Sure. You know what? You know what? Sure. 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 Sure. You know what? Sure. I'm not getting lost in those fucking Citadel security elevators. <laughs> Alright, we got question mark. Downed recon probe and debris. Let's just go to the probe. I'm sure we'll make it to the other two, whatever, whatever. Oh, I like how they did the sky in this one. It's, it's, it's a very nice atmosphere. This is the surveillance drone, but where's the data module? Guess we're doing this the hard way. The creature has taken the data module. Great. Good thing I came here first. It would have been more like fire emblem map with its oh. Is it open world? Oh, you just mean directionally. It's similar. I see. I see. Okay, let's see. Oh boy. Monkey colony. Monkey colony. Monkey colony. Monkey colony. So I guess we're certain. I see monkeys. That's just how countries are shaped. Grass is in the south, ice is in the north. So bad. Give me my data module. I don't think it's here.
I can just give him a little search down, huh? <laughs> I didn't have to fire upon the first set of monkeys. <laughs> I feel a little bad. I bottlenecked their genetics by eliminating uh, one group. It's fine. They'll be okay. Let's not run them over, though. Alright, so... The two monkey colonies, other than that, are just about this bridge, I guess. searched all the monkeys here, but also this is a really suspicious thing to have right here, so... Oh! Enter the mines! Great! Of course I will! monkey mines, I guess. I was expecting, you know, bad guys in the mines. No, not monkey mines. There's no... There's a lot of cover here for this to be a monkey room. This is like a horror game. Find the module on the monkey! Ooh, find the module on the monkey! <laughs> we have a feeling these monkeys aren't gonna survive what happens next. There's two doors over here. Two more monkeys. He dropped the data module. Looks like the data module's still intact. Scared Joker the can shit transmit out of this me. info to your alliance command. He dropped the data module. Okay, Jesus Christ. You guys can fight the gas, I'm busy.
perfect. Worth. All right, what do the guests want? Oh. Bottleneck is working pretty well, actually. There's one left. All right. Oh, this gun is so nice. Well, now I don't have to go to the fifth monkey camp, but there's still two other things on the planet side that we might as well grab while we're here. I wish I could jump in this game, that's my only desire. I don't think I can cut through the mountain. There's like a... Electronic skill too low. Oh, we don't have anybody with electronics. Shit. I've run into an issue. might actually be easier. <laughs> Returning to the Normandy. <laughs> it is much less frustrating at least. I select the party when I get there. I was about to say, if it brings the same...
Maybe I'll be an engineer soldier blend class next game, just so I don't have to bring anybody to my attention. I feel like that would be nice, you know? Not having to worry about that. Marco. No, 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 not the pit. Shit. isn't a vertical incline, come on. Bioware Gaming.
the wrong way. So wait. I have a plan. Ugly fucking mountain. up a little bit. That's fine. Now we're going to fuck up the arrows. <sighs> that was frustrating. I'm gonna save just because that was frustrating. I don't remember what happens on Pharos. Gonna be honest. I just remember Vermeer. <laughs> oh man. So, I should be able to come back. Well, equalizing interior pressure with exterior I was gonna atmosphere. Say, I should be able to come back if it's like logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Really Exo Presley has the deck. But I doubt there'll be any that aren't just like extra weapon drops, but I don't know if I'm actually missing out on anything like that. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They're making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Damn. That happened immediately. Is... Is our other guy okay?
just die. these guys they're so obnoxious and each time we have to deal with them as if it's the first time we've met oh, oh there's more than one it's like what the hell's hitting me allowed into the heart of the colony. This work must be completed. Is that around the crater? The Geth are mounting another attack. Just keep coming. So it's not the Reynolds guy. Wait, was there someone in here? Oh, there he is. Oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since... Watch out! We've got gas in the tower! Protect the heart of the colony! Yeah, I got it. Watch this. Jesus, I can fish. <laughs> Integrating this gun is amazing. To think all I really needed was to put just a different gun on. the wrong way, at least for now.
get fucked. Before we move on to wherever the Gether bunker, he's the closest thing left to proper channels. Still back at the. I have no idea where this guy is. Seems like the place where I'm not supposed to be yet. So I'll come back in a second. Garrison room. Yeah, I've like completely erased this mission from my mind. I don't remember anything important happening here. So there's that. There's gotta be something, but you know. It's like the are you gonna free the werewolves thing, you know. Elevator out of service. We're not going down the staircase. We're supposed to. Hold on. This way, and then back out this way. No, turn around across. secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I just did what I had to. Well, I'm glad you're on our side then. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. What do they want? If you want answers, go ask them yourselves. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. Well, I don't have any details, but I'll... They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. Oh, wait, I meant to get more info, but, you know... Commander, what can I do for you? What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnel. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. Let's talk about of Zeus. Of course, Commander. Tell me about your colony. Life is hard and often brutal. Colonial affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place. Unlike anything I've experienced before. The Normandy isn't huge, but we could airlift you out. The Geth fighters are too dangerous. And I won't be driven off this world. It is our home. There's a chance for growth here that's simply not available on other worlds. We were nearly a thousand at the main site. 
When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zoo's hope. What else can you tell me about Exogeny? Exogeny funded this colony without They specialize in colonization. In return for bankrolling the colony, we work for them. Their main goal is the retrieval of valuable artifacts or resources. Except there isn't anything here. Or if there is, we didn't find it. I wonder if that's what the Geth are looking for. Perhaps. As she said, we never found anything of value. Of course, the Geth could know something we don't. Good luck, Commander. So, I think there is a way to do some little mini-missions here. Why does it still have a... thing over there? I'm grateful for what you've done, but your heroics don't impress me, Commander. Tell me more about yourself, Arcelia. I'm a rent-a-cop. I was hired to keep kids from writing graffiti on the walls at Exogeny. Then all this happened. I wasn't trained for this. I didn't ask for it. I just wanted to end. I get the feeling you don't like me. How would you feel if you were hung out to dry by every government organization that ever promised to keep you safe? They should have sent a small fleet. Instead, we get one ship. And you're only interested in the Geth. What can you tell me about Exogeny? Very little. I work there as a security officer. That's what they do. They fund the colony. In return, we help them uncover buried treasure. It's definitely not as exciting as they make it sound. Commander. Did it just want me to talk to her? All right, maybe there's something. Commander, what can I do for you? What do you need done to get this place we back? Need those Arce I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. Is there anything I can do to Maka solve it? Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If What's wrong with the colony's power supply? Mayo Khan was working on our power problems. She you mentioned no something about a food shortage. Davin Reynolds is tasked with securing food for the immediate future. I'll talk to you Good when I learn. So I think that would have... It still has a thing on him. I can get a quest out of him. You'll have to forgive my wife. Kalantha's not in her right mind. She just needs to relax and accept what's happened. What happened to your wife? The constant attacks have strained us all. She'll adapt. We all have. Is there anything I can do for her? No, she just needs time. Time to absorb everything. We'll be what fine. do you do for the colony? I'm a medic. Or I am since the doctor died. I've tried my best since she was killed. Do you know anything about this planet? Just what I was told by Colonial Affairs. It's a little different from what they claimed. It's not all bad, though. When the Geth are gone, we'll have a chance to create something even more spectacular than before. I have to go. Please do what you can to stop the attacks. Yeah, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. All right, Reynolds. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. I have a ship. I could bring in supplies from off-world. I'd rather you concentrated on the Geth. I have to go. So long, Commander. Hello so... again, Commander. Tell me about hunting them. Hunting them is impossible. On the positive side, they'll attack anything. The big Alpha Baron is the real problem. He's mad, erratic, completely I have to go. So long, Commander. So I could take up the Alpha Baron and see what O'Connell wants. Nice work with those Geth. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. The top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got. The cells just aren't compatible. If I find anything while I'm Thank looking Thank you, around, Commander. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't know if she's in charge of anything. Not the best shot, but I'll do what I can. Yeah, I'm gonna go look for... I think someone over here somewhere. It's not Ledra. Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you. If Let you me see wish. what you have. Of course. I may be able to provide it. Ooh. Armor license. And then a bunch of guns that I have better versions of. Uh... You're the commander of the ship that just landed. Are you the captain of this freighter? Not originally. The captain died in one of the Geth raids. I'm the last crew member. We shouldn't even be here. The Solarian merchant promised us a fortune. 
I wish... I suppose it could be worse. What's wrong with the ship? There's too much damage. Then again, if there were no Geth, I might just stay on a while. What do you know about the colony? We just arrived a short time ago. It seemed like any other colony at first, but... What do you mean? I... It's hard to explain. It's kind of like... I, I can't describe it. I you should speak with Fidan. He knows the colony better than me. What do you do here? I'm just watching over the ship, making sure she doesn't get any worse. <laughs> if nothing else, she's good for hiding him when those geth come over the walls. It looks like you're monitoring something. No, well, just ship diagnostics. It's nothing. I, I should get back to it, but Fidan, what's the report on... I should go. Maybe I can help you. No, thanks, really. Now, please, I, I need to get back to work. I spoke to... There should have been one more person to talk to about stuff. I need to talk to him a little more. I feel like there's something I don't know. Commander, what can I do for you? Some of the colonists are acting strange. We're a close-knit group, Commander. Most of us have lost loved ones, friends. These aren't trained soldiers. Nobody taught this us. This is our home. We've watched the Geth slowly destroy everything that is important to us. Don't judge us too harshly. Tell me about your colony. Life is hard and off uh, like but despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place. Some Unlike of the colonists anything. are acting strange. We've been over this, Commander. The colonists are my concern. The Geth are yours. What do you need done? We need those I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing so, them. Do you have information about Geth? Nothing new. It's not a critical threat right now, but getting rid of that transmitter will help us. Is there defend. anything I can do to Maka solve Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight, I'll, I'll talk to you. Doyle. That's who I couldn't find. Blake Reynolds. That's O'Connell. Sorry, but I can't stop to talk. I have to deal with the water shortage. Is there anything I can do? The utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. Tell me about the colony. We are a small group. You should speak to Fidan. It's his responsibility. He knows the colony best. Tell me about yourself. I'd rather not. This is not the time or the place. Please, help us. What do you know about this plan? I am not the one to ask about that. I have ask to go. I wish you luck. They are very close to the chest. Aren't they all gonna die? Doesn't that ha does that happen? I don't remember. I know some silly things do happen, but... I'm, tr I'm trying to remember if that was the case. So now we want to go across and down. I'm 
I'm gonna save it so we don't have to go through all that sequence again. All right. So we have this way. Yeah, just run into the wall. Perfect, Shepard, thank you. Very cool. looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. Doesn't look like it's on yet. We should keep looking. Mr. Varus, boss. Do it. So we're just looking for the uh water. Finish up the water valves. Turning this last valve appears to have activated the system, Commander. What the fuck? You don't want to go down there. What are you doing down here? Nothing I should be, and anything I shouldn't. No! What's the matter with you? Just invoking the Master's Whip. Helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the Geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the- ah! I'm Trying to get to the- Dying! Brainwash. Let's go. He can't help us. Is there anything I can do to help you? Do you even want help? Help me? No. No one can help me now. 
I'd rather die fighting. Fighting what? <laughs> Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. The more you struggle, time's up. Company's coming. Ask my dad. Ask him about the. Ah! Look out. Well, he did die. I won't. I won't do it. I won't. I can't. I can't. I won't do it. I think this is a dead end and then I have to go back. way. I didn't realize I could mark the map like that. That would have been probably really convenient for fucking. Oh, that just marks the door. You're supposed to be going this way. taken care of. I just went in a circle. Okay, up the stairs. You wanna sit? Upstairs.
Oh, this is correct. Got it. I'm gonna turn in these other missions first. Before everybody goes absolutely batshit. Hello again, Commander. I killed the Big Baron. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. I have to go. Here, for your trouble. Oh, that's a lot of money, actually. Holy shit. Nice work with the... I still need the power cells for this generator, though. I found these power cells in the tunnels. I knew they'd turn up eventually. Now if I can kick these power cells into place... That's a lot of this... money. The water started... Now we just need to deal with... Here, a few credits for your trouble. Thank you again. I, I can't talk right now. I'm busy. All right, let's go confront him. Big confronting time. Commander, what can I do for you? I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. They won't be a Thank you, Command. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for everyone. Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. Some of the colonists are We've been over this, Commander. The colonists are There's minus. a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. We tried to help him, but he wouldn't listen to us. I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. Don't you have medical supplies? Something to help him? I wish it was that simple. Ian was a good man I'd like to have with us. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. So now I guess I'm taking the elevator to the net. Do a save, maybe do some squad points. Squad. Mako. Oh no, we're going planet side. All and right. now to the Geth base. Something an intelligent mind expects to see.
face. Any sign of movement? Prisoner could still be in there. It's only been a few days. Damn. She's my daughter. I'll wait as long as I have to. When in doubt, just run him over. Alright, going into the cursed parking garage. We've got movement. Some kind of vehicle. Not one of the Geth. They must be close enough to see us. Forget them. We need to find the Geth. Check around real quick and I'll we'll be back to deal with whatever's up there, but there's a little X here which makes me think there's something to look at. Jong, they're obviously not Geth. <laughs> Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? Commander Shepard, I'm here to remove your Geth problem. You see? You worry too much. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. Phi Dan and some of the members of Zeus Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They're surviving, but the Geth really hit them hard. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. Are we getting close to their base? You're almost there. They're holed up in the Exogeny headquarters. Just Those headquarters room. are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We could do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where's your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. All right, let's see what she knows. Zeus How Hope. did you get split up from the Zeus Most Hope of us live closer to the Exogeny building. Zeus Hope was mostly used as a port. When the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, we assumed they were killed in the first wave. If we had known they were still alive, we might have attempted to join them. They're fairly secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We, we have Like the no building we're in now? Listen, our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. They'll come eventually. What was the building used for? Oh, yeah, we repurposed that structure to serve as headquarters for Exogeny. That's mostly offices with a number of uh, light-duty R&D labs. Exogeny is a master at repurposing anything and everything. The company has to make a profit somehow, Juliana. Ferros is a long way from self-sufficient. Do you know what the Geth are after? I have no idea. 
Something Exogeny is keen to remind us of. We need to recoup our expenses. It's nothing personal. Tell me about the colony. We established ourselves here four years ago. Growth was steady until the attacks. Our biggest challenge has been the lack of resources. Still, we were making a go of it. It was even starting to feel like home. What brought you here? I guess I thought this would be the start of a new life. I wanted to go where I could feel like I was making a difference. Instead, everything we built is destroyed. Stay it's bunkered down until I find out. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter... Commander, what can I do for you? Alasi. Where's your daughter, Juliana? Somewhere at the Exogeny headquarters. Stay bunkered down until I... Of course. And please remember, if... I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. What do you need? I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. I'm listening. Good. Good. Poking Why do people the... always assume we enjoy putting ourselves in harm's way? It... All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. I'll look around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. Tell me about the data I'm getting for you. Plans for a few prototype mods? I'm a freelancer. Some of my mods are highly sought after. Why work in the middle of nowhere if your skills are so useful? Maybe I've got a bit of the frontier spirit in me. That, and the alternative is a bit too secure for my liking. Freelancers don't have to worry about security as much, so long as we... Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I said. I think that's essentially most of the, uh... I hope you can get us out of this mess. How are we supposed to fight an enemy like this? The frontier is a lot more dangerous than most people realize. Alright, cool. That's a quest update.
shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh god, oh god, oh god. We're fine, we're fine. We're fine. That's good, it's all good. have anything else that like ups his uh health does it <laughs> that's pretty good actually <laughs> This is what corporations are all about. Mountains of fucking garbage. On fire. Good thing we're like super powerful now, huh? Otherwise that could have been real scary. Or even slightly scary. We can't scratch this field. We need another way in. This looks like a one-way drop, Commander. Geth, or one of those Baron. You're safe now. But why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running, and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. We'll get you out as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. It's very important that I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. What's a Thorian? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. What else can you tell me? 
Do you know where I can find Astorian? I... I might be able to, but not with those geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Do you know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the geth laying power cables everywhere. You can follow those cables, but there's geth all over the place. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a researcher. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it out alive. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. Tell me what you know about the Thorian. I really don't know that much about it. I think it's some kind of plant being. I know it's very old. Thousands of years, even. Why do you think the Geth would be interested in the Thorian? It's just a plant. I don't know why the Geth would care. Exogeny was studying it, but I don't think they found anything special. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Good luck with that field. That's where I fell in from. So it's probably just the door that's up here. I don't want to review protocol. <laughs> I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. It looks like there's a cube coming behind you. Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual <laughs> ass into actual <laughs> dust. Know, fucking scene. Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with... Stupid machine! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. <laughs> Ratting me out, you stupid AI! Got him. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, Research Assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of Subject Species 37, the Thorian. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zeus Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zeus Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior like uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can, it can affect, affect and, and control, control other organisms, organisms including, including humans. humans. Yeah, uh, the yeah, Zeus yeah, yeah. I'm starting to remember this. Interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Exogeny knew all along what would happen to those people. It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. That's why they were acting so strange. You should contact Joker. Joker! Come in, Joker! Damn it! That field's blocking us. We've got to drop that shield and get back to the outpost. VI, what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. 
I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. We need to find that ship. Going Let's to standby ready. mode. Shoot those big fucking We need wires. a way to give it a kick. Let's <laughs> Damn things can't be perfect. This place seems almost peaceful. Do you think the Geth were using this room as some kind of religious temple? Whatever. I ain't here to learn their customs. This place seems almost peaceful. Do you think the Geth were using this room as some kind of religious temple? Whatever. <laughs> This isn't doing anything. Time to clean this. Ooh, I'll take that. We're not gonna find many survivors in this base. It vibrates like I'm doing something. Oh, that must have been the personal computer that I was stealing from. Oh, shit. I'm trying to get to something like around this corner up here. Did I not miss a door or something?
residential, blah, 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 blah. Why is it acting as if there's another enemy around here? I don't see any. Unless he jumped out of the room. That was this room. There's no door out of here. Seems to be some sort of thing around the corner up there, but I don't know how to get up there. There's this. That I can't get through still. This. There's the upstairs. There's nothing but brick fence. Oh, is that the grenade I detonated? It says that the signal's jammed up here, but there's no other... jumpy guy and then he disappeared. I don't think we killed it. Anyways, that's probably not the reason we can't do anything up here though. Let's backtrack. guys in the wall we already went up there and we already went through here I thought yeah leads back to here this place seems almost peaceful do you think the Geth were using this room as some kind of... Whatever. I ain't here to learn their customs. There's no shit there either. Like, I feel like I've run into a, a wall here. I don't know where the exit is. <sighs> so let's, let's look at this map one more time. Okay, so... leads back this way, which I think is where I came from. So I'm not sure how that's there. Um, this leads upstairs into the computer room. So there's a different staircase that leads to the other thing. Okay.
that was that staircase to the computer room. So I'm looking to go across here. There's something blocking the wall here, and then upstairs. So across here, upstairs. And there's the fucking the whole ship blocking the wall. And I, I don't have the ability to jump. Wait, there's some like way to pass over it. Oh! Well, I'm glad the map design is more intelligent than this I am. This part's identical to the last. We'll have to keep going. Epic music, thank you. Very cool. Hold on. Cut it off. Chop it. He's going. He said, Whoa, ouchie. Fields will be down. We can go deal with this Thorian creature now. This was my kind of mission. Kill a bunch of geth and end things off with a huge crash. Keep your guard up. There still might be a few geth inside the base. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. All right, people. You know the drill. Let's move out. All right, what else was I going to do? I feel like I was going to do something. I don't know. Do, 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 do. 
Guess we're leaving the way we came in. You look at that. Beautiful. Oh. Okay, guys. Just teleport. I get it. It's a, it's a long walk, I guess. How do I get this? There we go. Now let's go ahead and save, because uh, we're going to be <laughs> getting close to the boss fight soon, so uh, let's go this way. There you are. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. I, I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me, told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I never meant for this to happen. Where's the Thorian? The Thorian is underneath Zeus Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could... Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Why am I wearing my helmet? There we go. Luckily the Mako is just right out here. I'm not going to have to go far without it. a lot of gap to send my way. Gonna be all up. We should go in there. Girl, you gotta be careful. Draw weapons. Oh, it's fine. You can't do this, Jong. Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! Oh, Shepard, 
damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. <laughs> I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what you did during the Blitz, but your heroics aren't needed here. We can talk this out. Nobody needs to get hurt. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, John. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus' hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. I won't let you hurt these people anymore. Drop your weapon or be prepared to use it. If, if, if that's the way it has to be? Heck, come on, come on! <laughs> is it? Uh, I don't As want any trouble. Don't have enough problems. <laughs> now we're shooting each other in the back. It's my fault. I knew what was going on, and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work, and you know it. So what now, Commander? I need to find out why the Geth are after the Thorian. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. What else am I supposed to do? There's got to be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good <laughs> idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. If we must consider it, drop it in a concussion grenade. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> he said, I'll do or what I can. consider. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. Equip your grenades with the anti-thorian gas grenade. This will disable infected colonists without killing them. Well, if my grenade actually ever fucking worked, then maybe that would be an option, but you know. There we go. Don't stay out of your way until you clear a path. Good luck. Any luck finding my workstation out in the room? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. I was there anyway. It was the least. Well, I, I appreciate it. Here. Thanks again, Commander. Did I level up? Oh, okay. Okay, now we're going to the boss level. For some reason, I was thinking that they were going to get. Gethified, you know how they get turned into those uh, husks? I thought that the colonists were gonna get husked. I don't know why. Maybe that's what I thought the first time, too. Okay, so what I would like is uh, better squad healing. Uh, you know what? Do stasis, because he hasn't done enough of that. Damping. And electronic strength of the shield. That's a good idea. like the most calm Mako driving sequence I've had to do this entire time. Oh. Yes. Oh. 
Hold on. Okay, or that. I thought. It certainly wasn't human. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. Let's Very well, down. Commander. Let's go. I'm 16 points. Oh boy. Oh no, I have to open the door. Okay, so this is where the sequence starts. Got it. Problem is, the grenades don't go off for shit, so... Oh my god... Okay, so these are different. open the door until I hit him with it. Sucks. Alright. Which way was the way to the town? Just now figure out how to fucking use my grenades. Oh, I'm so mad. We're just gonna do money. Why won't it open? Oh, this is so stupid. Oh, great. Thank you, God.
Oh, okay. I have to neutralize whoever's left. all the way back here. Alright, 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 alright. There we go. Right to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. I won't. Oh. Well, the count didn't go down, so I guess he it didn't count as the 16 call that was supposed to keep alive. <laughs> oh. This is... Is he still around here? He just up and disappeared. Got it. Okay. Well, so far, 16 of them are alive, so that's what matters. Hey, Garrus. You ready for this one? Cause I'm not. Made it through the skyway. Find this creature and determine what it. what. It, <laughs> this was not covered by my training manuals. That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be. problematic. It's gonna poop out Invaders. someone to talk. Your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren, something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh barely given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. Give me what I need and I'll strike back at the one who betrayed you. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will be around you broke. Where'd she go?
of those and it's in trouble. Thanks, Rex. What are you guys doing? How are we doing? Going up. Get fucked. We got her.
think we go down here. Here comes the boy! Hello, boy! No, I don't... I don't see them. We get most of it? Are they downstairs? Upstairs? Well, I hear shooting, I just don't... That's where we started. So it had to have been up, it's just like not a path that I realized where we were going, I guess. I missed the What the fuck are you guys shooting at? They're just shooting through the floor. Maybe they see them somewhere, but I have no idea where. Is this door open? It's not a door. I don't see anything beyond over here. drops down. I thought this was just like a window. like use my skills once in a while. Immunity! Bah, bah, bah. I just woke 
not give up on myself. I'm free. I... I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. How did you end up inside Holy. that thing? My name is Shiala. I serve... I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, hmm. so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Oh. Hello? Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to Damn, manipulate Saren, still going. but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren is pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick hey, to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Saren oh, knows you're searching for the conduit. Run. He knows you're following his steps. Oh, yeah, you rebuild your point so you pool. Not gain the cipher. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? Jeez. The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. You must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched we built and studied this them. City. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The cipher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. Gnomaki. To understand, you must have access sleep, to endemic sleep. ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the cipher, when I meld it with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught. It simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your We're physical shell. really quick to trust this lady, Reach huh? out to grasp the threads that bind us. One to another. I am not a biotic Every mistress. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. And then she shoots me. Eternity. I've given said. you the cipher, <laughs> just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are a part of you now. Are you all right? What just happened? I saw something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift, the experience of an entire people. 
It will take time for your mind to process From their birth this to their death. Woo! We should get you back to the ship, Commander. Medical needs to know about this. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a ch But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. I can't spend any more time here. Then I wish good... I feel great shame for my part in their suffering. As long as any of the colonists remain on this world, I will good do thing whatever we saved I them can all, huh? to aid and protect them. And it you did me it. off it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. Do you know what the conduit is, or where No, I'm sorry. All I know is that Saren believes the conduit was the key to the Procyon extinction. That can't be good, whatever it is. You have the cipher. In time your visions will clear, they will lead you to the conduit. I only pray you find it, before Saren does. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he is leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. Farewell, Shiala. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. Yes, Marco? It's weird how like nobody questioned what happened to the the to Fidan. I guess they eventually figured it out, but it just seems like they uh didn't really say anything after uh his pre programmed uh Suicune, Supuku, you know. Just seems a little odd, you know. What time is it? Eleven oh nine. Hmm. 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 Wait. If Maki goes to sleep, she's gonna miss the cutscenes and us Stand talking by. to our Short companions. Decontamination in progress. Let's do our companion decompress. Decontamination in. Commander. You look... pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. My eyes disappeared before I stood up? Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! <laughs> I wish there was a way to politely say no. Oh, oh no. We're going back to this. Look away if your eyes are sensitive. Can't do it over there. That was incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see anything? He's like, okay, but what was it? <laughs> must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. What's our next move? 
I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision, what was there at least, but something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. You sure it was the joining? I feel fine. Your role in our communion is passive. I am the one who must submerge myself in your mind. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining, Commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. We're done here. Dismissed. I sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. Exogeny tried to study it. Look how that turned out. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. Being human Damn, okay. had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes specters have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Didn't have an option to hang up that time, huh? I get Paragon points just for talking to the Council. That's kind of funny. So let's see what the companions have to say. We should have some new dialogue, mostly from uh, Cade Nalinko. But, I mean, maybe everybody else wants to uh, Hey, say. Commander, next time we touch down, let's try not to park the ship in a colony of mutant zombies. Just thinking out loud here. I have to go. All right, see ya. That was pretty good. I love how he has he has a one-liner for, like, every mission you do, which is pretty funny. Chakwa isn't going to have anything to say. Let's visit the aliens first. Commander, I... what can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but if there's anything else I can do to help, Anything. Just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? You seem to have some thoughts on this. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. It'll depend on the situation. I'm not committing to anything until I've got him in my sights. Fair enough. Either way, I'm right behind you, Commander. Shepard. So you'd rather be a merc than help your people? 
I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. I'm not like you, Shepard. I'm no hero. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. Uncle is angry because he grew up in a society where killing each other is kind of the norm and the race has been punished for, uh, for uh, starting a bunch of wars on their own planet because other races didn't like them. And she's kind of asking Rex why he's kind of become a mercenary instead of fighting for his people when he's already explained that uh, his own father tried to kill him on their home planet. Yeah, so it's like he was uh, a leader of one of the tribes at one point, but right now he's a mercenary. Just because that's what suits him better. You ever think about helping your people? I try not to. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits, and most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting, private armies and such, but it gets too messy. I fight best on my own, or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me, and I bloody well don't like relying on them. So long, Rex. Shepard. Let's talk to Tally, see if she has anything new to say. Yeah, it's the genophage among un other things, but Rex really grows. Um, this game, in its entirety of trilogy has your save data carry over it was one of the you know one of the earliest games to do that really well so these characters grow over the course of three games instead of having one single arc it feels and like one we're game getting near the end doesn't it shepherd with Saren, i mean it won't be much longer one way or another it'll all be over soon you'll find the conduit before he does i know you will you have to and after this is all over when my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. We couldn't have done this without you, Tally. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. We have not killed the xenophobe, but we might get to it tonight if you want. <laughs> that won't happen for a while. We're yet. right up in I'll front right of that mission. You need me. See you later. However, what we might end up doing. Uh So there's the xenophobe. She's right there. She's still on the ship. Not for long though. We got one mission and she'll be gone. Yeah! <laughs> Hype! <laughs> Actually, um, I might have to save before we go to that place because there is a chance that she will kill one of your team members if you do not play things right. And this is before you can kill her off. So it's gonna be... I'm, I'm gonna be a little stressed because I'm gonna be like, oh no, I don't remember what option I'm supposed to, to put. But I, we should be okay. We should be fine. We should have the correct things in order to... Uh, to get that sorted out. We're gonna talk to Elenko. Cause this is a, 
I think the la second to last, if not last, conversation we get with most characters. Maybe sure she doesn't kill. Yeah, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna be very careful. I do not want her to kill one of our teammates. We haven't had time together since our last chat. A lot was said before we talked. Ooh. Oh, random topic? Go for it. You seemed decisive then, Lieutenant. Why so hesitant now? Sorry. Not sure where I stand. You seem a bit uh, distracted by someone. All right, Alenko. Off the record, permission to speak candidly cross my heart and hope to die. Uh, Wasn't Doctor, this the dialogue we got last time? That she's, um, she's a very interesting lady uh, to my uh, tastes, but uh, I never claim to be big on You seem awfully Yeah, we got the same dialogue twice. Years. That's not supposed it's to just happen. That we don't have much downtime these days. I like being around you, but I I don't want to take up your personal Look, time. There's nothing No between. issue. I'm just looking for a near. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like yes, I have heard of the German the mud wizard. He is very funny. Problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Vernus. Don't tell me you and Vernus hugged on graduation day. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 <laughs> years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. But it was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. Blowhards are easy to brush off. How do you finally get under your skin? He hurt a girl, broke her arm. This part she we didn't hear for last a time. glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed, you know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was going to do, just something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. He kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talon, right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. Tapping that deep must have shocked the hell out of you. Not as much as it shocked Vernus. It killed him. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. That's funny. I'm not sure which of us got the worst of what happened. He's probably got something over you in the regrets department. I'm not upset he's dead. Just sorry I killed him. I wasn't prepared for that. I dropped out of sight for a bit. They let me go. I guess they wanted it to blow over as much as I did. I came back on my terms because I wanted to serve. So, yeah, I hated that Turian, but but he wasn't a Turian to me. He was Vernus. And here I was concerned you were damaged goods. I've got a few scratches and dents. I hope they just give me character. I don't think we'll be operating without support. Yeah! Pretty soon, not even the he was put in an experimental military program and accidentally killed Glad an instructor. The, it's it, yeah, it happens. <laughs> I'm looking forward to some shore leave. <laughs> What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. I mean, now that they're cut off from the company. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. I think that we talked to everybody except for Ashley, so, uh... I'm sweating. Prepare your audio redeems, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> Y'all have no idea what's about to happen, do you? I went the wrong way, I should have gone up to the command deck. Oh yeah, a lot of people killed the girl. 
It's, um, if you don't know what's about to happen in the first part of Mass Effect, you don't really know what to do. And then there's a lot of people who romance Liara, so they're not really attached to Ashley Williams either. And then there's some people who just like Caden more, so they'll keep him alive even if they liked Ashley. <laughs> Wait, no, it's after Vermont. Right? I'm so silly. I'm I'm big I'm being big silly right now. Alright, we're gonna save the game. Last time we saved was on Pharos. And uh <laughs> We can go kill Ashley. <laughs> uh Vermeyer. Right, it's not before this mission, it's before the one after this, because you can't... You can't paramour a character and then kill them off. You have to make the killing off somebody decision before you get to paramour them. I was... I almost forgot. I was thinking about it. I was like, hey, this, this doesn't... The cutscene I was thinking about doesn't happen. I remember because that's what I was going to do in my, uh... In the first Renegade playthrough I did, I was going to romance Ashley and then kill her off. <laughs> but you can't do that. The game won't let you. You ha you can't romance complete the romance cycle until after you choose who dies. So you can't scan any of these. Alright, Vermeyer. Yeah, it would, but you you can't do that. It doesn't let you. I tried. <laughs> I tried. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarium infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Drop, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. So what's gonna happen is after I bring down those towers, the entire crew is going to land. So regardless, you can't really avoid the situations that are going to arise as a result of that. Are these crabs or drones? Oh, I forgot. I had the, uh, I had the, uh, notification for, um, when I was doing the collab. I didn't turn that off. So just forget that that popped up <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> Lamal. It's a link to the person I collabed with, uh, on Wednesday. Let's do community and health. It's just like a regular crab. I'll let them be. Yeah! It was a fun time. That's a fun game. I want to finish playing through Mass Effect though, so bad. I love these games. And then I want to play through Andromeda again. I feel like that would be a really fun time to actually do. It has a really- it had a really bad reputation when it came out, but it just- it went beyond its intended audience, is the best way to describe that.
Oh, he's having it. He's having a seizure. You all right? Big electric cube. You did? It's it's a it's a fun franchise and it's an extremely easy game to play actually. also extremely cheap to get on most systems. This collection of the trilogy actually went on sale for like 15 bucks a few weeks ago too. And the original games, you can find them for $5 at any GameStop. They're good. You can even find Andromeda for probably about $5 nowadays. And it's, it's not bad. It's it is a game. <laughs> People had legitimate criticisms, but they just like kept talking about it. I've heard the same three criticisms. It's not a game. weren't like polished on release because it was EA was rushing a sister studio they had handed the IP over to and so it was a much smaller studio working on a much bigger version of a Mass Effect sequel um, so they were kind of crunched and as a result of that the game ended up not particularly buggy, it just had a lot of like visual errors that didn't look nice. But it also had a little bit of the usual stuff that's in the Mass Effect games, which is a little bit, you know, corny and hokey. But people weren't as like warmed up to it as they usually They're like, oh, it's so corny and hokey. It's I kept talking about it because it was a hot topic, I guess, for some people. But essentially, it was, you know, people were buying it and then returning it because they were expecting, like, some really cool next level, next gen Mass Effect what the fuck are you shooting at? franchise title. But it was being done by a sister studio. So it was being done by a much smaller studio. It was probably going to be something more akin to a HD Mass Effect 3 in terms of like gameplay and stuff. You know? Nothing very complicated at all. But yeah, the sound effects are pretty loud. I wonder if I could do that. So I can make them a little lower. That should help. But a lot of the things that, like, visual problems with it were patched, like, in the first week of release. So it's like, they fixed it, and people were still pretty dissatisfied with the game, though. So the sister studio that made it got dissolved. And Mass Effect was put on a back burner, they, you know, came to the conclusion that the game wasn't going to get any DLC at all. Which I've heard may have been some really good DLC if it would have actually gone through with them making it. So, you know, just stuff like that. Like, it got really trashed by the gamer community. Not even people who were necessarily big Mass Effect fans before. And I think that just made it hard for. Oh, there's a lot of these guys actually. Yeah, 
yeah, it's about in the same vein as Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. If you like those games and the lore, then you're probably going to be satisfied with Andromeda, you know? You're probably not going to be too, like, disappointed with it if you like the first three games. Especially now that a lot of, like, the visual issues are patched. There are some characters that I think are a little bit annoying. Like, I'm not a huge fan of Dee Dee. I feel like she was advertised as, like, the lesbian of the game. And she just, like, was just obnoxious. I do like that they finally gave us a female Turian, though. The Turians are really cool and they're my favorite alien species, especially in this franchise. So, um, I'm glad that they expanded more on that and let us, you know, interact with Turians more and learn more about them and did not be just like, I mean, I like the cool male Turians, but you know, I like the, I like the, the female Turians. from Destiny? They're pretty cool. I'm a I'm a big fan of the uh Sam Haley from Halo. That's one of my favorite things ever. I love the Zeus people. I love how the Colossus has to get on its tippy toes to shoot things. That's kind of cute. Long, long man. Gatehouse, gatehouse, gatehouse. Okay, so I need to get to the other gatehouse. This way. <laughs> if it can move backwards, I wish the jets could go backwards. I think I spent a lot of time in Andromeda just like exploring the first planet because they added a lot more into uh, areas. That you can explore. There's our target, Commander. Oh, now they're coming out to play, I guess. We're going in. Here's. Get out the center. Oh! Get out that center. You think Ellie have long necks? They're just, they're, they're shaped.
flood scare you? I love the flood. They're just little guys, you know? I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Now. Ready to continue on your mark, Commander Shepard. Alright, Normandy's landing. If it can get smarter than you, it scares you. I mean, this game does have a hive mind species and they're really funny. I love, I love the Geth. They're good boys. I'm gonna save it here, just in case. Well, let's do squad points first. All right, electronics. Fitness. And... and I'll give myself some uh, sniper points. They're just chilling. I mean, uh, they are not always chilling, no. They are... Very aggressive boys. There goes my ship. That Geth? That Geth? A hippie? Oh man. That's it. Nothing between us and the Solarian camp now. Ashley is between us and the Solarian camp, Rex. You don't understand. All right, saving one more time just because uh, I don't I don't know if we have time after we get to the Solarian camp to save before things can go south. So uh, it's scary. I was like, oh no. Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain what you get here. All right. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. Oh, that's just great. What now? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. 
We are the reinforcements. <laughs> what? You're all they sent? I told the council to send a fleet. I, I pray that France has sent a ship. <laughs> we couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my oh, men sorry. investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Is he here? Have you seen him? No, but his Geth are everywhere and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. This is his facility, there's no doubt about that. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the Genophage. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army... He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Well, destroyed? Yeah. I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. Shut the fuck up, Kirahei. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. Yeah. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. They're real salty He's in one and of the tents terrible nearby. to the Krogan. I mean, the Krogan Looks could like break his neck mess. if he really yeah. wanted to, you know. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. Looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. Just drop it. He'll be fine. If you say so. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him, if it's all the same to you. Don't you fucking keep your eyes anywhere, Ashley. Keep your eyes on the fucking like ground. Rex is behaving. He's really on edge. I'm concerned about Rex. The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know Saren must be stopped. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For Let me see else, what you have. What little there is. Okay, let's see what he has. Metagel upgrade, grenade upgrade. Yeah, I'll take some council licenses. Hurricane 8, holy shit. Banshee IX assault rifle. Uh, why do we have better things than this already? Were they that big of a problem? Um, I think these people just like don't let grudges die really easily you know because of how they're treating fucking oh he's shooting the water rex buddy all right we got to tread really carefully here this isn't right shepherd if there's a cure for the genophage we can't destroy it I understand you're upset but we both know Saren's the enemy here he's the one you should be angry with Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon. And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren, tools. Is that what you want for them? <laughs> no, Put the we were gun tools down, the Rex. council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. Oh, you made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. If you make him too upset there, Ashley comes from left field and just fucking kills him. It's real. It's really not fun. If we're doing this, then let's go. 
Yeah, I was, I was holding my breath. <laughs> Your ability to calm the Krogan is impressive. I'm surprised you were able to reason with a Krogan. He's our friend, dumbass. The Imagilee's a bitch. Yeah, I know. That's why we're killing her. These Solarians seem pretty tough. I just hope they hold up under pressure. With all these defenses, Saren must be hiding something big. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. Oh, yeah, how do I initiate? I guess I have to talk to the main commander. I'm gonna save now that we've we've kept Rex on the squad. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. A bomb. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. Aww. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. It's my Why place is it that decide. whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? I... I'm pretty sure whoever I send with the captain survives. Um... Oh wait, it doesn't matter actually. Oh, you get to make the actual choice later. It's not like a gonna trick you into something, right? It's it's not gonna trick you. Yeah, we can go back because we have a save, but it's not gonna trick you. You get to choose regardless, apparently. I was gonna double check. Towards the end of the mission, we'll be forced to choose to rescue either Caden or Ashley, who is where, depends on where you assigned to Kirahe's team before the assault. So you get you get to choose. Um, who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary, though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Alenko, you're with the captain. Keep it simple. Understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Let's do this. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. We'll be fine, LT. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you wanted to say, Caden? It's just weird going under someone else's command. I've got so used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry so much. We'll see you on the other side. I know, I, um... I just wanted to say that it's been an honor serving with you, Commander. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We are still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. Except for Ash. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. Death I have flags. also heard murmurs of discontent. <laughs> I share your concerns. 
We are trained for Man, espionage. You should see the bullshit they, they pull in legends. Mass Effect 3. You don't get to make a Think choice. You assign heroes. people to teams, and if you assign the wrong one, they step. stumble in dead. A nation, <laughs> it could be shot. any of the characters that the can die at that point. Hidden facts. These giants do not seem I accidentally killed Thane like four they times. They are not all that we are. <laughs> Before the network, there was the fleet. Before was it diplomacy, it, it was one of there them. were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we <laughs> held the line. There's Our a guide on how to do it, but if you put... In the battle today, we will hold the line! Someone with too low of a base defense stat Good luck, Commander. and a team that requires them to have a high defense stat, they die. That's, that's just how it is. So, uh, Caden is out. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Shadow is on the ground. Shadow is on the ground. Manavai, Jayato team, move. Time to get some attention. Damn, it's still- I, The thing- Okay, igno like I said, ignore the notification because I forgot to turn it off. It's just the link to the Ooh, good job, guys. Yeah, this sniper isn't very fun. I'll probably have to get uh, a different one. But the shotgun is still pretty high tier, so... However, that notification about a giveaway on Twitter is true. Something scrambled they're targeting. We've got a shot. Lieutenant Alenko, take the heat off Man of I. I forgot I put the um I still had this as my grenade thing. Push forward, there's it leads back to the same area. <laughs> oh, God. Do you not like rocket things? They're calling sat strikes. Jado, watch for comm stations. Alenko, can you see anything? Oh yeah, 
Alright, here we go. These guys can actually take you out so fast. Rex, out of the way. be here. Oh, it continues. Aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Bunker up before they come back. Kirahane's down in the subtitles, but he didn't say that out loud. Oh shit, 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 shit! No, 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 no! Oh god. Where was my last save? It was just right before we launched the mission, so that's fine. <sighs> Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. Nice. Unfortunately, the facility is too well. Your ship can you drop. You want us to on. go in on? I While we've got their attention, it's a good. Uh, I need one of your men to accompany. You expect we are all so. Not so fast, LT. With all due respect. Why is it that whenever someone says "with all due respect," would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice. Alenko, you. Do you have any? Let's do this. Excellent. Yeah, I just. The dangerous. You all know the mission and what is at stake. Yeah, I know the mission. I've seen I this cutscene before. I have come to trust each of ah. you with my life, but I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single sh these giant. Oh, I can skip this dialogue. Cool. That's what I was trying to do. So, what happens when you get pinned down between a Krogan and a crate? They can really fuck you up. And I. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Stepped into a crate. Loud and Good. clear. We'll start. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat. Shadow is on the ground. Lieutenant Alenko, Gordy, Manovai, J. 
Dental team, move. Time to get some attention. Fire is coordinated on Monovi team. We can't reach the guest turrets. They're out of range. Yep. It, uh, it really do happen. And the thing is, if you carry over your save for Mass Effect 1, and if Ashley killed Rex, Something you scrambled can't recruit Rex. Lieutenant Alenko, take the heat off Mass Effect. <laughs> and I'm I. So if you want to keep the cool shepherd you made in Mass Effect 1, you can uh, kind of slightly alter your uh, save data, but not
no death out here, though. Why would we have this energy thing? There's no they don't spawn yet. It seems a little bit silly. It's kind of in their culture. We've got access to base security. We should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. They'll clear out the guards for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Someone out there?
a second. I think I've... Oh, I have too many items. I need to salvage a few. Okay. So I can mark a bunch of stuff. Was... Junk. And then convert all junk. Ooh. There's a Geth Armory Pulse Rifle. Yeah, very much a gamer problem. I bet a lot of it is uh, weapon modifications too. 235. Yep. I didn't realize he had a biotic amp. How long do you think it's going to take to clean it all out? Uh, I only had to delete a few things. It was just giving me a warning. It doesn't, wasn't saying that the inventory was actually full. It was like, oh, you're at 270-something, and if you get to 300, we'll just start deleting items. And I was like, oh, okay. So clear out like a handful, and then we're fine. Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Maino Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG man. Captured while on reconnaissance six days ago. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What did they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper? Who knows? Something's not right here, Shepard. Setting him free could endanger the mission. No. No! I, I, I need to get out. Let me out. I can't take that chance. Can't take that chance. No chance. I need to do what it says. I have to. Let me out. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Well. <laughs> That'll be 
fine. Uh, possibly. Oh, there's an elevator. I think I'm gonna let what's his name out because I feel like uh, if I don't, he's actually probably going to die. <laughs> and only only because I had just saved right before. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't bother. See what happens when I do that. Saren's experiments have to be stopped. What do you want? Who are you? Uh Something's not right here, Shepard. If we don't let him out, he's as good as. Yes, believe me, here would be. I need to get out. Set let him free. Me. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. I should be. I hear them over and over. Why are they repeated when they're so simple? So damn simple! Salvation of my species. Why? You will not destroy the work we have started. Oh, that was Rex I was shooting at. Well, that's fine. The doctor went down. Auto converted something to Omni Gel. Man.
I guess anything that's a five or lower, I'll just get rid of it. Some sixes too. I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not going to hurt you. Granith the Noctis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assume. Saren you helped him, and you didn't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating, but I can help you. This elevator box. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you... It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. What? You can't. But I'll never. Ah! <laughs> notification here. So maybe I should have gone the other way too. And it'll be fine though. We're not going to lose anything out of it. I am not at a loss for resources apparently. Commander, look over here. It's another beacon. Like the one on Eden Prime. Oh no. I should have saved it. Oh shit. Saren's about to walk in this fucking room. I know it. save the game. I feel like we're about to get ambushed for doing that especially. I get the feeling something bad is about to uh -oh. happen. Uh-oh. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, That's incapable sovereign. of understanding. The ship. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I 
am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Whatever your plan is, it's gonna fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? cycle. What cycle? <laughs> the pattern oh. has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it. And you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us. They're here to wipe us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. <laughs> He's coming at this me! This console's been disabled. Orders, Commander. Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke.
yeah, the plot of Mass Effect is actually sentient machine, evil sentient machines have wiped out all of living uh, everything over and over and over again, and you are in the cycle now, and you are trying to keep the living machines from wiping out everybody. But you don't know that in the first game, just going in. God, that almost killed me. Thank you, Garrus. Good sideswipe. Humans are gonna do what humans do best, break shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna save it. I just had a feeling, you know? That's the gun. We need to clear those gaps and get the charges set. Forgot I can actually like command them to certain spots. I'm big so the charges are set and ready. Everybody get low and I don't keep know your heads down. What Garrus is doing. <laughs> All right. Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. All right, we're setting up the bomb. Is this going to be a defending area thing? All right, set the charges. Position. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. Captain Kira, he's dead. Yeah. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative. Just make sure that nuke is set. We'll hold him a 
as long as the kick. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move. I got one of those too. Bye, Williams. <laughs> it's done, Commander. Go get the Lieutenant and get the hell out of here. Belay that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Williams. Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA Tower. Yes, Commander. I... I... You know it's the right choice, LT. Bye, I'm Ashley. Sorry, Ash. I had to make a choice. I'm not. <laughs> I understand, Commander. Impressive diversion, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Solarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Sovereign and its kind destroyed the Protheans. What else is there to understand? You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and 
they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it! You're already under its power! No! Sovereign needs me! If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Together we can stop Sovereign! We don't have to submit to the Reapers, we can beat them! I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. I'm not like you. I'd rather die fighting than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Night, sweet prince. We won't fucking miss you. You won't live long enough to kill any more aliens on our ship. All right, everybody, hang on. Damn. We killed Ashley. 
I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? Williams knew the risks going in. She gave her life to save the rest of us. But why me? Why not her? I'm sorry, Caden. I'd never leave you behind. I couldn't. You know that. I know. And I am grateful. But Ash died. He feels because guilty of because I was flirting with him. Because of us. <laughs> Oof. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, ma'am. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. <laughs> I might be the able Asari to help you put Anyways, all those uh, can we move together. on to the rest of the meeting? <laughs> I have a whole docket of an itinerary that I put together, and I'd really like us for us to go over it. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Seizure warning. For the fourth Relax, fucking Commander. time. Embrace eternity. <laughs> I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect yeah, myself. Yeah, uh, sorry, can read Did your mind. Did the minds. vision make any sense so, to you? Uh... It's a distress call, a message sent out across the Prothean Empire, a warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos, the conduit is on Ilos. That is why Saren needed to find the Mu Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mu Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mu Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Bam, bam. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are specters. We love the Terminus the system. The conduits on Ilos. The entire That's second game heading. takes place in the fucking I'll be Terminus for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to. Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a combo nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermeer <laughs> We're in good spirits, success. not for long. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine. A true artificial intelligence, this news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information they really to throw don't you fucking off believe it. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. We had two witnesses. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid This evidence. is racism. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Fuck you. Calling my mom.
Let's uh, check on our companions and then we'll probably raid somebody and call it a night because it's getting kind of late. So let's see what everybody says after that. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been... I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I just don't know if I could have done it. Yeah, there is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm Renegade not run blaming is really you, Commander. Fun. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Um, I tried one, and I got maybe half the answers Renegade. It's so hard to do Renegade, like, 90% of the time. It's so difficult. Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry. I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. Aww. Yeah, it's going to be a different tone from everybody this time around. <laughs> but I believe we only have one mission left in the game, so that's going to be fun. Uh, we'll have to save it for next time, though. I don't want to rush too much. Oh, no. <laughs> I really need to fix that. As soon as I stop streaming, I need to go and make sure I... Uh, fix my timers, my collab timers, and set up a new one for Saturday. I'm going to be streaming tomorrow in 13 hours, I guess? No. No, no, no. Not 13 hours, it's like 20, no, 15 hours. I really need to go to sleep, but, you know. Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part no of your team. No one who wasn't human like Ashley. I've uh, learned a lot. I don't know. Let's see if they mention her. I'm, uh... Thanks, Commander. You're welcome, Garrus. God, I can't wait. Mass Effect 2 is going to be so fucking fun. Commander. Things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. So long, Rex. Shepard. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. Still, I find the loss of Captain Kirahi troubling. But I won't blame you. I know you lost one of your own as well. Captain Kirahi will be missed. But many others will live because he gave his life. That is our lot, I suppose. But there may come a day when so many have been sacrificed, it will be impossible to tell who won. The mission was a success. That will have to be enough. We won't trouble you for long. Our unit will be disbanded as soon as we depart. Good luck, Commander Shepard. Aww. I'm glad the Solarians are on there and that we could talk to them. They were a good, good unit, good team. Hey, Shepard, do you need something? I should go. See uh, you later. She doesn't really have anything to say about it, I guess. Hey, Commander, you know that Quarian Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Codex entry. All right, the only person left to talk to is uh, Caden Alinko, and I don't know if he'll ha he should have more dialogue. So I kind of thought they were just jerks, not like the threads of the sorcerer. We're so close now. 
and we deliver everything, the council will have yeah, to mobilize. Yeah, Salarians are complicated. Be a tribute to Ash if we were able to rally everyone together under the council. Um, but there are a lot of really likable ones. You get a companion that's a Salarian too, and he's There's really work really cool. There's always more. From a navy brat to linchpin of the alliance. I don't think I've ever met a woman like you. You haven't had the easiest life, but I like the man that's made of you. Ooh. Please come back. Don't make me blush. Yeah, the doctor. No bull, Shepard. I want to follow through with this. It's tough keeping it separated from duty, but when the mission's complete, it'll be different. At least I hope so. Ma'am. That sounds wonderful, Lieutenant. In the meantime, we save the galaxy. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I can... Let's see, what do we... Do we want to talk about I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, ma'am. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. I understand. I don't like losing people either. I've served for years, but never lost a soldier under my command. Not to hostile action, anyway. If you don't mind my asking... How did you deal with the losses on Elysium? I didn't stop and agonize over it while everyone else was in danger. We've got work to do, Elenko. We'll remember her later. You're right. I can't let this get to me. Not now, anyway. Thanks for the advice, ma'am. I don't know if I need personal... Just trying to get a sense of where... I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. Wet paper bag didn't get nuked on Vermeer? Well, damn. Excuse me? <laughs> you were- Man, you should have been here. We were hollering and yelling because we were so happy to get rid of Ashley. <laughs> Are you pro-Ashley? Are you anti-Caden? <sighs> I have never met someone who actually kept Ashley. What is your life like? <laughs> Kaden! Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, 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 but like, give me the reasons though. I, I need to know. This is kind of juicy. I, I like, I, this is... You are a rarity. I need to, I need to understand. We were just about to go raid, but you're welcome to stick around for a second. I need to, I need to know. I need to know. I need to know. Okay, is it is it just because of how Caden is, or do you like Ashley more than you like Caden? Like, is it just like you don't really like both of them, but you just like get get rid of Caden because it's easier, or do you are you just like, well, I like Ashley, so I have to get rid of him? Like, what's what's the uh, what's the stats? This is so important. <laughs> I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. And Ambassador Udina wants us to report back to the Citadel. The council's massing a joint oh, yeah, species he's so fleet to deal with Saren and his gang. Too. I definitely look. I literally only picked him in Mass Effect One every time around because Garrus was not available. <laughs> this is this is a chat where we the only person we don't talk shit about is like Garrus and Tally. And maybe Rex and Grunt. And all of the Elcor. I love all the Elcor. He's definitely. Okay, I think that, like. I tried. So I've, tr I've played the game a few times, and I've tried romancing every character. And when I tried romancing Ashley, she was really boring. When I tried romancing Liara, it was really corny, and it was like, I couldn't take it. Like, I was like getting shivers up my spine, like uncomfortable shivers, because it was just like third hand embarrassment, like really bad. And the Lenko is just funny, but they kind of wrote it a little bit more subtle. I feel like with, with Ashley and Kaden, they wrote it more subtle, but I just like can't like Ashley. So every time that I tried to romance her, I like gave up and instead, I romanced. <gasps> <laughs> 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 I 
I can tolerate racism, but I draw the line at browbeating over server. <laughs> you can tolerate racism? <laughs> oh my god, I have to make a meme now. That's so funny. I literally, um... But like I said, like, any time that I played when I was, like, planning on romancing one of the girls, I'd, like, try to romance Ashley, and then I got bored, and then I tried to romance Liara, and I was like, I can't take this, I can't take this, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I wanted to just, like, take that shepherd and skip to Mass Effect 2 so bad. At least she has a personality. <laughs> Racism is not a personality, Harpitch. <laughs> Oh my god! I knew they'd come around. I feel like back to the Citadel, I feel Joker. Like they I want the Normandy like, at the head of that fleet. Everybody yes, super like dull because like they were trying to introduce a lot of the species. So a lot of all you talk about with the species is like where they're from and what their entire homeworld is like instead of what their specific living situation was like. And they did the same for the humans. They're both kind of super fucking boring. <laughs> God, even in Mass Effect 2, uh, Miranda and Jacob are the most job, boring Shepherd. characters you, the I've ever real seen in my life. Seven. They're the so ambassador fucking is correct. boring. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. I tried to like them you so bad. You think a blockade's gonna stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Said One me. ship going into the terminal systems won't me. start a war. I can be discreet. Every playthrough I do, you Kate's detonated a nuclear device Man. on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style Just served you well it. in the Traverse, Command. He does forgive you in Mass that. Effect Three. I mean, but you guys Ilos make up for it. But maybe touch. you didn't spend enough time with we him to actually figure that out. Control. What about the Reapers? Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. The and duality of Mass Effect players. We won't invade the Terminus systems because some people dream. like Caden, some people like racism. <laughs> There's just a divide. <laughs> One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear After device three quarters on the way through. Yeah, but that's where that all the discreet. good shit is. Is three Your quarters of the way through. Well in the traverse, it's important. We he has an arc. That. He can't just but instantly forgive you and be bad touch. writing. We have He'd be worse than a wet paper control. towel. He'd be a wet paper towel dissolving in your palms. <laughs> if Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! Udina, shut it's your fucking mouth. It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Udina, are you insane? After everything I have done, you still don't believe me. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Oh, sorry, it got you, uh, the Automod caught you. Let me just, uh... I can read your comment, but I'll have to click on it in a second. It's gonna click off my screen, so I'll let this... Commander, are you alright? ...play I'm until sure I can pause it. Appeal. We're under Alliance authority, after all, not the Council. Okay. Sorry, my screen is, like... If I click off, it doesn't show because my setup is dumb, but yeah, politics is always a butt. <laughs> no, Caden bitches in Mass Effect 2, he kind of like chills out in Mass Effect 3 a lot more. Like Mass Effect 2 is like the bulk of him being a little bitch about it. Why is chat pause due to scroll? 
There we go. Liara, Liara is cute. I do like Liara. I think I didn't like her as much at first, but like the more I played the game, the more I warmed up to her. Cause she just seems like a very, haha, I am an Asari. And that feels like her entire personality, but she is kind of a dork in like a really cute way. Official channels are closed. They were quite clear about that. Closed. And we're supposed to accept that. So where do you think the best view will be when the Reapers roll through? If we have to sit it out, may as well get a good seat. We'll think of something. I just need to figure things out. If I can be of any help, let me know. I hope I'm not out of line saying that. I can call him a goof? <gasps> That's cute. You always this cautious with a sure thing. Yeah, I always leave a way out. You know that. I'm here for you. But we're in a rough spot, and the last thing I want to do is muddy things. He's like, Commander, we it's can't fuck because we're stuck on a ship I serving in the military. <laughs> we're not. Are we valued agents or just peons? I'm sick of it, too. But maybe we need to take a little initiative. You have something up your sleeve, Shepard? What am I saying? When don't you? That's what I love. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Careful. When this is over, I might pay more attention to what you say. Oh, so it's back to business after playing me. Here's something else, you know. Ooh! Ooh! Sorry, I'm trying not to wake up my husband. I should be quiet. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Ooh! Were you listening in? Are you spying on us, Joker? No, ma'am. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, <laughs> that club down in the wards. Well, I guess you better go then. He said, anyways, uh, <laughs> get out of here, I guess. We're taking the boys. Well, wait, I was going to save it. <laughs> I was going to save it and turn it off. We can handle all the rest Equalizing of Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Sorry, huh? command. Logged. The commanding oh. officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. That's an engineer locking down the Normandy. Got it. I was about to say, we were going to go uh, save it and raid because it is getting kind of late. That was that was good, though. Uh, we'll probably finish the game next time we play. It should be Wednesday next week. So pretty, pretty simple. I think. Well, hold on. Let me see here. Our playtime is at 14 hours. I am honored to be your first Kaden here. I'm honored to have you here, Harbinger. I do appreciate your input. I, I do think that forgiving Ashley's racism is kind of funky, but I do appreciate your input. And it's always great to meet someone else who likes Mass Effect because sometimes it's kind of rare. So I appreciate you dropping by. <laughs> um, and I appreciate uh, you being my first Caden hater. So we're at 14 hours, 31 minutes. I think we'll definitely be able to finish the game in under 20 hours, which is pretty good. I, I don't know how long my first playthrough was because it's on a different console, but we'll have to see. Um, let's go ahead and oop, exit. No, exit game. I'm going to close that out and we're going to look for somebody to raid. If you guys have anybody in mind, we can see who's online. And then I also need to, I think it's going to pop up over here. Okay. I also need to uh, fix Nightbot and turn off that notification that keeps uh, linking everybody to the Lich because that was, <laughs> let me just. Timers, timer, cloud timer, disable. Okay. Twitch. Let's see. Uh, barely anyone is online except for Von Ixie. So I guess that's probably gonna be where we go. Um, Von Ixie's pretty cool. If you've never heard of them, I was introduced to their channel online by our friend Maki that follows them.
we'll just do that and then we'll probably end up going to bed for the night but thanks for stopping by everybody hope to see you around next time when we go through the why is there three genshin apps um okay so uh this is honkai impact the third um this is the install exe because my uh my launcher doesn't open, only the game and the installer does. So I basically do a repatch every time I open the launcher to download an update. These are both shortcuts in which I was trying to figure out where the fuck the launcher was on my computer, but then I gave up. That's why there's three Genshin apps. These are just shortcuts. Fun fact. <laughs> Yeah. I'll go ahead and put that in. Um, what do you guys think our raid message should be? Goodbye, Ashley. How about that? Goodbye, Ashley. And then like, do we have a do we have a sad face? I don't think we do. We could do uh the Isaac crying face. That can be our raid message. Rest in pieces. Yeah, that works too. You could type that and I'll I'll type this and you can type that. <laughs> All right, guys. I will see you uh Saturday for a drawing collab and then we'll be back to Mass Effect on Wednesday and we'll finish up the game. So, bye.